Hey everybody, this is Bytes, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Randomized. And in this episode, we're gonna go into the Oceanic Museum and fight a couple of Team Aqua members. Well, let's just get started. Let me make sure that Raikou's first, and he is. So let's enter the Oceanic Museum. And now we have to pay to enter. That's not fair. Um, what you want to do is talk to this Aqua member first, and he's like, Oh, hey, I'll give you a random TM, and then he runs away. This is the guy who we, like, fought way back when. And then, so he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, forgive me, take this TM. And then this guy's funny, because he enters the uh, museum without paying. I just thought that was kind of funny. But everyone else is pretty useless. So let's just go down and talk to this professor-looking dude. Um, and he's just like, oh, hey, this is the Devon's Goods, and then random Team Aqua members just come out of nowhere, and it's like, whoa, what are you doing here? And now we just have to fight them. It's gonna be very, very, very simple. Uh, this is like, well, I don't know if you guys will have an electric type at this point, but, or a grass type, you might have a grass type Pokemon, I don't know. Whatever, the battle's very easy. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, let's see. We killed it. Whoa, one hit. Raikou is actually getting really strong now. I remember when I first caught him at like level 7 or 10 in uh, Dewford City. He was very, very, very weak and very annoying to train. Now he's like one of my strongest. But he's not going to be very useful very soon. Um, Like, the third gym leader is all electric type. So, um, I'm most likely going to be using... Rocky the most and possibly possibly Magmar because he's fire type and so and they usually have like steel types as well and let's just finish it off with a thundershock and we win not yet but we will win um anyways well today's not gonna be a very long episode because I have stuff to do, so, yeah, uh, blah, 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 we defeated the Aqua members, and after that, what happens? A random dude comes, he is the leader of Team Aqua, and he just tells us some useless stuff, and then they just disappear, they're like, no, we don't want to fight you, you're too overpowered, and the next part is, uh, is just hilarious. Alright, uh, not this part, um, he's just like, oh, I'll give you back the Devon goods, and thank you for saving me and whatnot, that's basically all he does. And he heals our Pokemon, yes. Which is very useful because I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. And now, oh, uh, that's, uh, we have absolutely nothing else to do in the Oceanic Museum, so we just come out, and then Scott comes. This guy sucks, but this is a very, very, uh, intriguing uh, encounter because he's like ah I guess you got let me guess I, you drove them away and he's like hmm maybe just maybe this trainer da 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 and then he just that's all he says then he just registers you in the pokey nav and walks away he doesn't tell you anything he's he's very mysterious which is kind of what I like about Scott but he's he's very rude in the beginning and this stupid Roxanne wants to register us and ah. Uh, after you beat the Elite Four, you can actually refight the Gym Leaders. And I believe all of them have Johto Pokemon. And I think all of them are double battles too. So yes, now we just come up here to Route 10. Let me just quickly switch into Magmar and Rocky. Because they're going to be the guys I'm training the most. Hey, Professor! Professor Birch. Yay, and then he's like, hmm, where's May, and blah, 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 I guess you guys separated, and then he registers in the poke registers us in the Pokenav, man, there's too many registrations, I don't like registering, it's too much work, and now we have a double battle, I already uh, checked out the Pokemon in here, actually, y you know what I find kind of funny, I found Dugon again in this route, and in the next route, so, Dugon is going to be the Zigzagoon of this game. That's what that's what he's going to be classified as. Dugon is the Zigzagoon of this game, which is horrible because I find Dugon everywhere, literally, from that from that time 
that we found Dugan the first time, I've been finding him everywhere. And then I found that seal and I was like, yes! And now it's like, no, I don't want seal! Get away from me! And I freaking missed. And stupid herbs. I hate herbs. Making the little, making, yeah, makes the battle even longer. I can't even speak today. This is horrible. And, ow, Blaze is going to own everybody. Yes. Um, Pokemon is fun. It's awesome. I, I still haven't beaten, um, uh, Pokemon Black and White. I don't know. Have you guys beaten it? Like, I just don't want to beat it. It. I don't know. I, I found, it's pretty weird, I guess, since I don't want to like beat Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Black and White. It, it is a good game and all. Like the po the Pokemon are pretty obnoxious, like their names and their the, the way they look is pretty stupid. But the game, the story is amazing. But I don't know why. I just I just don't want to beat it. It was kind of like that. I was kind of like that with Diamond and Pearl, but. Once I got like the third badge, I just didn't stop playing the game because I really got into it. But this one, I already have like six or seven or five or s I don't even know. I have a bunch of badges. How about that? But I don't want to beat the game. It's in it's interesting though. Uh, how about what about you guys? Have you uh? Do you guys have black and white? Have you beaten it? What's your favorite generation of Pokemon or your favorite Pokemon game? Mine, personally, is uh, third generation, ruby, sapphire, fire red, leaf green, emerald, all that. All that good stuff. And, of course, the first generation is really, really, really awesome, too. Second generation is great. Uh, gold, silver, crystal. Those ones, I... I don't think I put the most hours in those ones. Probably. Actually, maybe I did. Because in the third generation, I just kept on restarting my game and playing it over and over again. But those ones, I had a good like 400 hours on it until eventually it just couldn't um, save anymore or whatever it's called. The disc just runs out. This is the trick room. This is a pretty neat place, which uh, I'm not really going to do much right now. We just enter here and we have to find the, the tricker. He's just that light, that, that flashy light that comes out of nowhere. And then, um, he just, let me, let's, let me just finish just wait till he finishes talking he goes to the end and you can do this little trick puzzle thing which I'm not gonna do we can do that later or something I don't really have cut on me and I don't really feel like getting it so I don't have like I said I don't have cut on me let's just go down here and let's just fight these stupid traders do 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 and we have a lady lady daisy who has a fire pokemon this is actually very good I'm actually glad I didn't switch out for uh, rocky Rocky's actually really crappy right now. Because he's rock and I need ground moves for the third gym. But he does have magnitude, which is good. But not the greatest. I hate Roselia. Roselia is so weak, but I love the evolution of Roselia. Rosalie? I don't even remember what it's called. I mean, I do like Roselia, but if, if Roselia's stats were a lot better, um, I would really, really, really like Roselia a lot more. And I was actually told to train my Pokemon a little bit more because um, the third the, the third gym has a, a bunch of level 20s and above. Sorry about that. Someone came in my room, so I just kind of had to cut it out. Um, let's start off with a Fire Punch right there. Actually, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch out to um, Ducky so I can use a Magnitude. Uh, and since Ducky's flying, ground does not affect it. And it should do an immense amount of damage. I just sped that up a little bit because it took too long. And come on, attack already! Magnet. Ah, I only got a four. Really? That's horrible. I used magnitude for a reason to get like a six, and I get a freaking four. Ah, this sucks. Oh well, don't worry. We can make up for it. We just got a magnitude again. And we should get a higher number this time. Let's see what we get. We get a headbutt, which is going to own it. And magnitude 5. <sighs> I'm just getting horrible luck with this. I'm going to speed this up. Oh, I get a critical hit, so that's not that bad. But this battle is really annoying me right now. Ooh. 
And we're done. Alright. And we get registered. Now let's fight this stupid dude. I'm just gonna speed this up because I'm mad now. I'm mad that I got very low magnitudes. Oh yeah, um, I don't know. I think I told everyone this. If I do another Pokemon game, which I know I'm going to do, another Pokemon Let's Play, uh, if I do that, I am gonna go for a Nuzlocke challenge. I know it's pretty overrated now, but you know what? Yeah, sorry about that. Something was in my mouth. Something. Yeah, that sounded pretty wrong. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up because this guy has a lot of magic cards. Anyways, um, like I said, I am gonna do another Nuzlocke challenge because I know it's pretty overrated and I, everyone does it, but you know what? I I've never really like done a Nuzlocke challenge because I just thought it was a waste of time. But now that I think about it, it it seems kind of fun. Like it's gonna be challenging. But, it, it seems kind of fun. It would be better if I did it on the randomize. Because, um, I would get a whole bunch of random Pokemon and I wouldn't know what I'm going to get. Which would be even better. That was a Surviper. And let's fight a youngster Pokemon who- A youngster Pokemon. A youngster trainer who is in the grass waiting for me. Youngster Timmy. Youngsters, you know what youngsters remind me of? They just- I, this might offend people, possibly. I don't know, but they just remind me of like, of like hippies and like hipsters and people back in the day. Crap! Sped that up a little bit because I don't even know why I sped it up. Really, Metal Claw. I love Metal Claw. I actually love Aran. He's an awesome Digi. This is Pokemon. Wow! I'm getting my games confused already. I was actually playing Digimon earlier today, and of course it was. Awesome, I just burped, sorry. I don't know if the microphone caught it or not. I don't think it did. But yes, we defeated everybody and now we're not level 16. Alright guys, and thanks for watching another random battle. Um, it's an executor, but thanks for watching. Uh, you can uh, suggest some Steam games for me. But anyways guys, uh, until next time, keep on fishing.